My name is Josh Henneman, and I uh, am the writer creator of Bigfoot Sword of the Earthman through Brujas Comics. Bigfoot with a broadsword. Simple as that. Uh, and then I go on, Conan meets Flash Gordon with Bigfoot on an alien planet. Uh, right now, it's like with this convention here, Amazing Las Vegas, it's just, it just has a great indie comics vibe to it. And I get, you know, when I'm sitting here, I get all ages from like, you know, the young kids. I always say it's a good 10 and up book. And they come in like, oh, I love Bigfoot. So kids really respond to it. And then you get the adults, you know, coming in like, oh. And all of them have like a story of when I was a kid or I knew somebody who had a, a Bigfoot sighting and such. So it's, it's just a great, you know, fun, you know, a fun vibe. <laughs> I've had, like I said, I have I had a lot of people have had experience with their sightings and stuff. And then they'll ask me, hey, have you ever, you know, seen one? I'm like, you know, I'm still that skeptic. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for that, that video that's not grainy. It was actually uh, a few years ago, back in 2007, the NASA rover uh, on Mars actually photographed what looked like somebody sitting on some rocks. So the media had picked up on, you know, blurry little image and like, hey, it's Bigfoot, Bigfoot's on Mars. So if you Google Bigfoot on Mars, this was the actual image that it was based on. And so from there, that became, you know, Bigfoot, you know, on an alien planet. And that's where I got the idea from it. Uh, probably the best, the greatest, the single greatest thing that you can do right off before you have the artwork, before you have, you know, the idea down. And it's going to sound kind of boring, but start saving your money because it is expensive if you're going the print route. And then if you're like me, I was a writer creator. I didn't have an artist, so I had to go find an artist. So all these costs really start adding up before you even have one thing done. So you want to start, you know, just set aside an account for that and just start filtering a little bit at a time. So by the time you're ready to find that artist, you've got a nice little cushion there for it. Yeah. Because nobody ever, nobody ever thinks about that until they're ready to do it, and they're like, "Oh my God, this is gonna, you know, start maxing out my credit cards and all that." Oh, just a little planning ahead. Uh, just being that voice in that, you know, that big thing. Like if you look around here, they're like everybody's, you know, selling something. It's like a living comic book out here. And how do you stand out, you know, to do that, especially if you're starting out on your own. You know, and all you have to do is like look at other creators, you know, go online, see what they did, because they're more than happy to put down who they talk to as far as how to get press, how to what stores, you know, love indie books. And so just do your research with that and you can find out how to find your voice to get it out there. Uh, I'm a big sci-fi nut. And so I'll see stuff like, you know, like Matt Nastos over here. He's got like a ROM, the Space Knight, you know, a little character on here. Yeah. Love that. Anytime I see something like that, I love seeing people dressed up with, you know, like obscure sci-fi, you know, films. Even if it's something like They Live. I love They Live. You'll see like a character dressed up and like, ah, some people might not recognize it, but that makes me go, you know, go crazy. Yeah. 